PBR X1 connected up to a four ohm load. And let's check out the output. We're doing a 100 hertz test tone and everything is flat. Um, the gains have been set, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna zoom in here on the oscilloscope so you can see what kind of output we get. Now, according to Rockford, uh, 97 watts is what they got. So let's see. That was with 14.4 volts. We're doing third. Actually, we're doing 14.0, so a little less. Here we go. It's clean. 95.94. It's just a little bit. eighty nine point seventy seven ninety two point eighty three it is so close there I think it's still clean let's try it up just a little bit more ninety five I think I see some flattening there so we'll go with the ninety a little bit of flattening there let's back it down just a hair eighty nine point seventy seven I feel pretty confident is is clean so we'll go with that eighty nine point seventy seven all right now we're in the two ohm mode on the oscilloscope and I've got two ohms worth of resistors hooked up so let's see what she'll do hundred Hertz test tone again According to Rockford, we should see around 182, and no way there. 185 is still harsh. Looks like 156.1 was a little bit there. Now the the boosted rail light is coming on, so it's trying to boost it up some. But as far as a continuous power goes still looks like that 150.3 so that's what we'll go with 150.3 all right folks unfortunately my oscope here does not have uh, readings for one ohm but um the math is pretty simple what you do is you take the true rms volts and square it and then divide by the ohms and since this is one ohm then whatever the number we get squared is going to be the RMS wattage so let's check it out 100 Hertz one ohm load on the Rockford PBR 3 uh, PBR 300 X1 Ooh, clipping 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 back down 16.06 let's square that real quick and see what it is all right according to my calculations 16.06 squared is 258 approximately 257.9 we'll just round it up to 258 all right guys here's the amp one more time and I'm a complete moron there is a light LED light right here where it says power slash protect that was kind of a blue light and on this side right here is the BRT light that comes on when the boosted rail technology I guess is in in effect well there you have it after all that testing this thing is not even warm so although my results didn't quite get what Rockford promised is very close and uh, Again, they had a little bit more voltage. I'm hitting about 13.8 or 14 volts, and they are um, at 14.4. So maybe that little extra, I mean, it's really it's almost half a volt, so maybe that is enough to make the difference. But um, I'm going to put up the numbers here now so you can see the difference. All right.
right, folks, there you go. My overview slash review slash bench test of the Rockford Fosgate PBR 300X1 boosted rail technology amplifier. A little bit bigger than a wallet. Won't quite fit in your pocket like the, the amp that Steve recently tested, but uh, very powerful for its size and very impressive to me. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the demo here and uh, subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments, and uh, as usual, I'm out of here.